My dear brothers and sisters, happy Easter to all of you. Have you ever been told a secret and then be used as a bridge to share this with others? You know, I remember a couple who told me that their son passed the board exam with a high score. They went on to say, Bishop, before anyone else knew, we told you this first because you are important to us, and we know you are praying for our son. How would you react if you were in this situation? It is very flattering to know that we are important to them. But we might also wonder why we were chosen to be the first one to know. Brothers and sisters, when our Lord Jesus appeared to Mary Magdalene, after his resurrection, she was astonished and shocked by what the Lord had announced. Do not touch me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. Go instead to my brothers and tell them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Jesus did this and chose Mary Magdalene, his disciple, because she was important and trustworthy. My dear brothers and sisters, in the resurrection of the Lord Jesus and the revelation of his magnificence to us, we are like Mary Magdalene. You and I are important to him, and he has a high level of trust in us. Despite her shock, Mary swiftly obeyed the Lord's command and spread the good news of Christ's resurrection. Jesus also believes in you, that you will treasure and ponder this great news in your heart, and He's confident that you will also share this with other people and to the entire world. Because Jesus' death isn't his sole victory. He did not keep it to himself. Instead, he shared it with the world. When he died, the Jews and those who crucified him rejoiced because they believed it was the end. However, they are mistaken. It is not the end of Jesus' life, but rather a new beginning. He opened a new world for us, the kingdom of God, in which there is room for individuals who are important to Him and loved by Him. Regardless of the difficulties on earth, starvation, wars, poverty, exploitation of others, oppression, and attempts to conquer other countries. Above all the sins and sufferings, we all have a place in God's kingdom. This is what the resurrection of Jesus promised, and this is the fullness of our Christianity. Without Jesus' resurrection, our faith in this world has no value. But because we are valued, loved, and important to God, Jesus rose from the dead, opened the way to heaven for us, and He promised that He would never abandon us. Brothers and sisters, the resurrection of Jesus challenges us today to love and appreciate God's goodness by continuing the mission of Jesus. Jesus loves and trusts us first as his disciples and messengers to spread the good news here on earth. This is your bishop, Ernesto Ontioco, praying for you and wishing you a blessed and joyful Easter. May God bless you.